Greetings and salutations, this is Imperator Vespasian and his trusty sidekick. Hello. And today we're doing an unboxing video on Primaris Reavers. Uh, Reavers are assault troops. They can deploy, as far as I understand it, by graf shoot, which is fun, um, or jump out of the back of a perfectly good dropship. Downside with Reavers, um, or any Primaris troops, is if you've got a Thunderhawk, Thunderhawks are great. Unfortunately, uh, Primaris takes up two, two Space Marine spaces. So your Thunderhawk that carries 30 Space Marines can only carry 15 Primaris. So that is a downside to dropping them off the back of the Thunderhawk because it really limits the amount of troops you can have in the Thunderhawk. Yeah. So I'm thinking really you want something bigger than a Thunderhawk to carry a troop. But that's just, just my idea. Something like a Stormbird. Put that one back. Um, right. So we'll pop this. Yep. Um, okay, we have the standard little rule book thing. It tells you how to put the figures together if you're six. Um, and it has the rules in them. So we'll. Arms and guns. Reaver and sergeant. That's about it. They're a bit dull, really. Legs, um, chest plates, heads, jetpacks, shoulder blades. They're not jetpacks. They're all like jetpacks. They're weapons. Coolant. Yeah, stop at that one. I think they're just armed with pistols, aren't they? No. No, you got a couple got of bolts in there. Yeah. Bolters. Gatling gun. Right, so you, you've got the, the black blades, um, mm. which are quite useful, and that's... So, um, Reaver and Reaver Sergeant. Could have come up with a better name than Sergeant. Lieutenant. No, I mean, all Space Marines have Sergeants. Like, whereas Chaos, they have um, champions and things. And uh, the... Black Templars have marshals and, and pellets and yeah, stuff that's like that. Backward. Yeah, whereas um, Primaris should have sort of Primaris sergeant or something. That, that's how I call it. Um, so you have a bolt carbine. So it is a bolt, but it's a carbine. Which, um, in the real world, a carbine is a short rifle. So it's a rifle that has less accuracy at range. Um, but it's smaller, so you can, or shorter, so you can run around with it and jump out of a perfectly good airplane with it. Um, heavy bolt pistol, that sounds fun. Um, pretty much the same as a bolt pistol, to be honest. Uh, combat knife, that's awesome. Lots of them, there's six of them. Seven. Yeah, and then you get frag grenades, crack grenades, and shock grenades. It's nice to see Gears Workshop bringing back the old grenades. Because for 7th edition, the only grenades other than blight grenades, which were used by the Death Guard, uh, sorry, by Nurgle, um, was frag and crack. And occasionally a sergeant could take a melter. So you have one sergeant with a melter bomb and everyone else would have frag and crack grenades. How many guys do you in this? Ten, I think, isn't it? It's two squads of ten. Gaff, you've got 14 blades in this. Well, probably different versions. Probably the same. 14 the same blades. Actually, I found use for them. Um, so, yeah, so um, you had lots of different... You had, originally, you had, you had loads and loads of types of grenade. And all, they all did interesting things like tangle foot and stuff like that. Uh, for our Adept Sabatis, we've got um, choke grenades. Which, in the old rules, they used to minus one off of the enemy's initiative. And in the new rules, 8th edition, they... Um, I think... They minus one for the enemy hitting you. Which is not quite the same as minusing one off initiative, but mm. yeah, it's useful. Um, so, shot grenades. I would assume these are flashbang type weapons. Yes, they are. Right. Um, infantry unit hit by any shot grenades, it is stunned until the end of the turn. 
a can of fire, overwatch, and your opponent must subtract one for any for any most heat of the unit. Okay, these are actually better than choke grenades. Why, why do the Dabatis get choke grenades and all they do is subtract one from attacking? And these guys, they stun the enemy. That's not fair. Because the Space Marines. That's right, the Space Marines. Good yeah. point. I didn't think that through. See, I, thought, I should have thought that through. Yeah, right. It's okay. It, it makes perfect sense. Um, so, yeah, nice. Shot grenades. So you can start to get new shot grenades on people. Um, given the assault troops, that could come in very useful. Because these are going to be theoretically operating a couple of moves away from your rest of your infantry. At least until the infantry can catch up. Um, so the ability to stun your enemy is going to be really useful. Mm. Oh, I like that idea. Useless against vehicles. But, hey, you know. Yeah, so... Not bad, quite good in class combat. They get two attacks, and I would assume they get an additional attack if they've got a combat blade and a, and a gun. Pistol. Oh, the weapon itself gives you one additional attack. So does that mean you get two additional attacks if you're carrying a pistol? Like a chainsaw. I don't know how that works. I don't know. Well, chainsaw gives you plus one attack, but if you're carrying two single-handed weapons, you get another attack on top. Yeah, that makes sense. So you would get two additional attacks, which would give you four attacks. Which is actually four strength, four attacks. It's quite good. Yeah, but if you, the downside to that is you don't be able to... You have to get to them first, because they're both hand-to-hand weapons. Yeah, but they are assault troops. So they, they start the game nine inches from an enemy. So you, you're within... You, you, you can pretty much nail them within the first uh, in the second turn. So, yeah, useful. I like that. I like it. And also, you could uh, make an advance move towards the enemy, shot grenade them. Next turn, assault. Yeah. Which gives you your four attacks without any trouble, and the enemy gets a minus one from being able to fight you. Fight it back. Yeah. That's yeah, that's quite good. Um, so, okay, I'm finding these more useful than the plasma armed guys so far. These seem to have a bit more to them. They seem to be quite a good unit. Yeah, they're cheating. Yeah, they are cheating. Yeah. Um, figure wise, uh, you do actually have grapnels, which is cool. Um, if you look here, there's a, a grapnel there. And you fire the grapnel onto something and climb up it, I would assume. Great. Why don't I just carry a jump pack? Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, grapnel. They have grapnels. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's, that's the squad. Um, I'm liking it so far. I'm not. Why not? That's just it's cheating that. I think a bar from the game, to be fair. Well, it wouldn't give Connor run for the money, wouldn't they? No, the other bloodletters will get affected by it. Not bloodletters, but there's a regular Connor infantry. The, well, I mean, by the first turn, they'll already be down halfway down the battle. That's a good point. So, so I keep think striking them really you're going to... Yeah. Normal Call of Space Marines are screwed against them. Yeah, yeah. Actually, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm liking these guys. And I'm really hoping that these guys do very well against Demonettes of Slanesh. Ah! I've just had a thought. Okay, Slanesh's special rule mm -hmm. is they get to attack first. If you've got these guys, you drop a chug bomb on them, they're stunned, they can't attack first, so these guys can attack first. Isn't that Unless right? they start the match first. Then those attack you. Uh, but if, the, if, 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 if it's a campaign, first turn, I run away. Because what will happen? is you'll find out who goes first. If they go first, they're screwed. Hmm, possibly. No, because these start off Bob, unless you're dropping them from a, a Thunderhawk. I'm not thinking... I'm and that means they start first immediately then? Yeah, I'm not thinking Thunderhawk at the moment, actually. I'm actually thinking bigger than Thunderhawk. I think that... for, for the Imperial Fists. I think Corn too, would benefit. Right, so if your corn were fighting my Imperial Fists, 
you get blood rage or whatever it's called, isn't it? Which enables you to attack first. And blood first. Or something. Blood first. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, we're gonna have to check the buffs mm. against each other and work that one out. And I'm thinking corn is gonna benefit from your blood thirst more than these guys would from their choke grenades. Not mm. choke. Uh, all my men have blood first though, don't they? That's not really. We'll have that rule because yeah, they're all they calm. Yeah. Enthusiasts. Oh, anyone with a mark of corn has mm. that rule. So. Oh. Hmm. I'm thinking your corn might not have to worry about these guys as much, but I'm thinking Slanesh would. I'm thinking that normal corn space marines would hit them. Yeah. Because it's like it's just it's not corn space marines are just well, space marines. Yeah. Just different. Yeah, so I, I think maybe against your con these aren't going to be that useful, but against Slanesh, I think it might they might do quite well. Um, but we'll have to double check next. I mean, they're going to do great against Nurgle. They'll do the brilliant against Nurgle. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, Nurgle's stuffed. <laughs> I mean, they're stuffed against anyone really. It's too slow. <laughs> yeah, well, they're good at getting hit, but with four attacks each. Eh. I mean, two attacks into it, they have two health yeah. each Nurgle. Yeah. Yeah. So theoretically, they could take down two people in one round. One yeah, round. but they get plus one stre uh, toughness, so you'd need to roll a five to wound them. So you. Good point for plasma weapons. I didn't think of plasma weapons. You see, so your plasma weapon, the space marines, and then you take on the pox warriors with these guys, and you just cut your way straight through them. Yep. Yeah, actually, yeah. So Nurgle is not a problem, but I'm dealt with Nurgle. Slanesh, we're going to have to check that up. Get another box of these, we'll be fine. Yeah, so two boxes of these, these Slanesh are dealt with, problem solved. Um, yeah, I, 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 is it corn though? Uh, not sure about corn. Yeah. I'd go for um, rapid. Uh, rapid fire. Yeah. Ah, that is a good idea, yeah. Because they're really fast, so rapid need fire. To fire as much as possible. <laughs> Overwatch rapid fire, yeah. Yeah. As soon as it goes to you, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is, it is. Yes. Corner, bad. Let's have a god. Uh, yeah, but um, space means don't get gods. Uh, they do get young girls who are possessed by the emperor. Oh, yeah. Because mm. that's the empire for you, you know. <laughs> Nurgle gets a decent grandpa and a, and a, and a lovely little beast. Um, Khan gets a massive, massive demon, demon that has an axe and wings. Yeah. And the Emperor gets 14 year olds. 14 year old dead saints. Yeah, that's what, that's what the Empire plays with. Um, right, so that's it. That's the end of the video. Um, not much to really do until we've made the figures up and then have had a game with them. And then we'll let you know how it plays out. And we're we're going to have to play Slanesh versus yeah. these and then d d uh, Death Guard, uh, Nurgle. And then, and then see how it plays out with each army. Let me know I can go on a vacation that day. Well, Corn's going to be there, so... Yeah, what? Oh. Yeah, Corn will be the third one, so... I've got Angrass getting involved in it. I think he's in a cage at the moment, isn't he? So then he'll send one of his subordinates to deal with it. Great. That's, wait, what? He's in a cage, though. How did he send someone? I assume he could talk out of a cage. I presume Khan just did it instead of having Yeah, Khan put him in a cage yeah. because he's mad and he'd kill all the Khan demons if you left him to it. Yeah, I think he was the first one to become a demon prince as well. So, no, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Right, uh, so that's the end of the video. Indeed. So thank you very much for watching. Same for me. And never leave him in. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Did it look like I'm something in my eye? No, it looks like I just got a strange face.